Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we'll be doing a performance testing on the new Samsung Galaxy F54 5G. Now, a lot of you have been asking us how good are the Exynos 1380 chip is uh, in terms of performance. Now, this device is priced around 29999 around 30,000 rupees and with offers you can get it around 28,000. Now, we have done the camera review and the charging test of this device. Found the camera to be really good actually for the price segment. But uh, how good is the performance how good is the exynos 1380 in terms of performance so we will be doing the cpu throttling test the stress test uh, anti to benchmark uh, the geek bench test and uh, let's analyze how good the experience is on this uh, device so that's the device so we have 8 gigabyte ram which is your first 2.2 uh, storage support and lpddr 4x ram and uh, we get 256 uh, gigabyte storage so that's the only one variant 8 uh, 256 so let's get started with the testing so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so let's start with the performance testing so first uh, would be the cpu throttling test we'll also be doing the anti 2 geekbench and let's see how the stress testing is also there so we'll uh, test one by one so let's start with the cpu throttling test so you can see here now we're connected to the wi-fi and 100 percentage battery so let's see how it performs uh, so we'll start the 15 minute test and let's see how the performance of this device is So now we have completed the 20 minute performance testing and you can see here extremely stable in terms of uh, CPU throttling and you can see here the max value is 206 and minimum value is 186. CPU throttle to just 91 percentage of max performance. So it's a very good uh, chip in terms of uh, performance. You can see a sustained performance it uh, does give in the mid-range segment. So uh, Samsung has done a really good job in optimizing the 1380 Exynos chip. It's a very stable processor in terms of CPU throttling. Next, let's go to the stress test. So next uh, test uh, would be the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So we'll start the test and see uh, how much of a score it gets. So we just started the 3D Mark uh, wildlife extreme uh, stress test So now we are done with the wildlife uh, extreme uh, stress test and you can see that uh, the best loop score is around uh, 800 and the lowest uh, loop score is around 796. It's a mid-range uh, chip but the stability is very good at 99.5 percentage which is quite surprising actually. Uh, you can see here uh, the loop score. Loop score is in very high compared to any in the flagship category. Obviously it's a mid-range chip. It's not a very powerful chip but it has very good stability actually. Now next let's go to the anti 2 benchmark test. So next uh, test uh, would be the antidote test and here is the benchmark score. So let's uh, just go to the detailed uh, score here. 4,97,219. So that's uh, more or less what uh, the uh, the device is capable of. Around 5 lakh is the antidote score for uh, the Exynos 1380. And you can see here uh, more or less similar what we got. CPU score is 1,46,000. 1,47,000 is the GPU score, memory score and the UX score. So that's uh, the testing and uh, let's also see the storage test. Uh, so you can see here the storage test uh, the 34,673 sequential read and sequential write test and random access test. So that is uh, the storage test of uh, this device. So you can see here this is the anti 2 benchmark score for the uh, Samsung Galaxy F54 5G. And the final test uh, is the Geekbench test. So let's just run the Geekbench test as well and we'll report the final uh, readings and uh, we'll analyze uh, the performance test. So 
So now we have uh, the Geekbench result. Uh, single core score is uh, 1006 and the multi core score is 2895. It's a decent score for a mid range chip and uh, you can see the benchmark result. Uh, so there you go. So that's the benchmark test. So this is the performance testing of uh, the uh, Samsung Galaxy F54 5G. So overall we feel it's a very stable processor. It may not be the most powerful one in this segment because the Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 1 is the most powerful there. Then you get the Dimensity 8200 even Dimensity 8020 is also there but uh, looking at the performance of this uh, device uh, you can see that the CPU throttling the the stress test everywhere it remained uh, consistent in terms of performance and the uh, Android score is also not bad at around 5 lakh uh, uh, value so that was the uh, Samsung Galaxy F54 uh, 5G so let's just go to settings once time so there you go about phone samsung galaxy f54 5g and uh, we have uh, the software version android 13 one ui 5.1 and uh, we have uh, the uh, google play system update uh, may 1st uh, 2023 so that's uh, the samsung galaxy f53 uh, with uh, 8 gigabyte ram and 256 gigabyte storage there is only one variant available so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day